Hello and welcome back. If you're wondering why I sound like hell and look like hell, it's because I have COVID. It's actually not too bad. I've, uh, I'm vaccinated, I'm boosted, and this just feels like a really bad head cold. But uh, I've been at home for a few days and I'm bored as hell, so I decided to make a video. And uh, what I'm focusing on today is uh, soft start versus hard start systems for rooftop air conditioners. Uh, I sold the RV a while back. I picked up a racing trailer and it needs an air conditioner. And what I found was that my, uh, uh, my Westinghouse generator can't run the air conditioner unless I use some sort of uh, assistance system, uh, either a hard start cap or a soft start system. I bought both. And I'm going to test them out and see which one is better. If you look on YouTube, there are plenty of videos documenting the installation of both systems. But I couldn't find anybody who did a video demonstrating how each one behaved on a generator and which one was better. So we're going to try it out today. I think I have enough voice left to finish this. So I tried the hard start capacitor and I tried the soft start system. Both of them did a really good job of allowing the generator to run that air conditioner. I didn't see any significant performance gain from the soft start system. In fact, it seemed like the generator shook a little bit more using the soft start system than it did using the hard start capacitor. I know that that's not scientific, it's just my impression. So here's some things to keep in mind. The first is from my reading, the hard start capacitor is actually sending a lot more power through the air conditioner's compressor during startup. So it's a little harder on the windings. On the other hand, the soft start, so the soft start system is easier on the compressor's windings overall. They generally don't recommend hard start systems unless you've got a compressor that's on its way out already and you're just trying to help it along and make it last a few more months. The other thing to bear in mind is that the hard start capacitor costs $15. The soft start system costs over $300. And the last thing that is true of both systems is that they are designed to work during startup only, and they take themselves out of the circuit after the compressor is up and running. I'm not sure how the soft start system does it. The hard start capacitor uses a PTCR, positive temperature coefficient relay. That's uh, fancy words that means it's a little heating element, and when it heats up, it opens the electrical connection, and then that capacitor is no longer in the circuit. What this means to you and me is that, let's say you turn off your air conditioner's compressor. 
and then you immediately decide, no, it's still hot in here. I want to turn that compressor back on. Well, you're not going to have any sort of hard start or soft start system at that point because that relay is still hot and it's still open to the circuit. It needs time to cool and then close the circuit again. So if you if your air conditioner is running and you turn it off and then immediately turn it back on, it's going to stall your it's going to stall your generator or trip your inverter generator offline because at that moment the system is not available for you. It should never be a problem in normal use because normally that air conditioner is going to cool things down, go offline and stay offline for a couple of minutes or so until things warm up enough that it needs to come back on. So it's not a flaw in either system. It's just something that you have to be aware of. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Take what I've got and make your own judgment about which system is better for you. I'm going to do some thinking on that myself, and I might wind up sending something back. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.